Topic 7. Dates. When did you arrive? Dialogue 1. Have you been here long? No. We arrived a few days ago, on the first of the month. And how long are you staying? We're staying exactly two weeks. We leave on the 14th. Dialogue 2. We're so glad you got here in time for our New Year's Eve party. When did you arrive? I arrived late last night. And how long will you be staying? Just a few days. I have to leave on January 3rd to get back to work. Dialogue 3 When did you arrive on the island? June 2nd, and we are having so much fun. I'm glad to hear that. How long are you staying? Three whole months. We'll have to leave September 1st, because we have to be back in school on the 2nd. Dialogue 4 Isn't it your birthday this month, Ted? Hey! It was a month ago. Oh, sorry. I forgot all about it. So did you have a big party or something? No, I had to study because of the exams at school. Dialogue 5 Have you had your birthday yet, Sue? No, it's not till next month. Don't forget this time. Don't worry, I won't. I'm planning to have a barbecue. Great! That sounds fun. Dialogue 6 Hello? Hi. Can I speak with Maria, please? She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. Please tell her that we're having a party for Louisa next Friday, April 2nd at 8.30. Okay. I'll tell her. Dialogue 1 Have you been here long? No, we arrived a few days ago, on the first of the month. And how long are you staying? We're staying exactly two weeks. We leave on the 14th. Dialogue 2 We're so glad you got here in time for our New Year's Eve party. When did you arrive? I arrived late last night. And how long will you be staying? Just a few days. I have to leave on January 3rd to get back to work. Dialogue 3 When did you arrive on the island? June 2nd, and we are having so much fun. I'm glad to hear that. How long are you staying? Three whole months. We'll have to leave September 1st, because we have to be back in school on the 2nd. Dialogue 4 Isn't it your birthday this month, Ted? Hey, it was a month ago. Oh, sorry. I forgot all about it. So did you have a big party or something? No, I had to study because of the exams at school. Dialogue 5 Have you had your birthday yet, Sue? 
No, it's not till next month. Don't forget this time. Don't worry, I won't. I'm planning to have a barbecue. Great! That sounds fun. Dialogue 6 Hello? Hi. Can I speak with Maria, please? She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. Please tell her that we're having a party for Luisa next Friday, April 2nd at 8.30. Okay. I'll tell her. Dialogue 1 Have you been here long? And how long are you staying? Dialogue 2 We're so glad you got here in time for our New Year's Eve party. When did you arrive? And how long will you be staying? Dialogue 3 When did you arrive on the island? I'm glad to hear that. How long are you staying? Dialogue 4 Hey, it was a month ago. No, I had to study because of the exams at school. Dialogue 5 Have you had your birthday yet, Sue? Don't worry, I won't. Great! That sounds fun! Dialogue 6 Hello? She's not in. Can I take a message? Okay, I'll tell her. Dialogue 1 No, we arrived a few days ago, on the first of the month. We're staying exactly two weeks. We leave on the 14th. Dialogue 2 I arrived late last night. Just a few days. I have to leave on January 3rd to get back to work. Dialogue 3 June 2nd, and we are having so much fun. Three whole months. We'll have to leave September 1st, because we have to be back in school on the 2nd. Dialogue 4 Isn't it your birthday this month, Ted? Oh, sorry! I forgot all about it. So, did you have a big party or something? Dialogue 5
No, it's not till next month. Don't forget this time. I'm planning to have a barbecue. Dialogue 6 Hi, can I speak with Maria, please? Yes, please tell her that we're having a party for Louisa next Friday, April 2nd at 8.30. Exercise 1. Listen to some conversations and fill in the missing information in the form. Conversation 1. Have you got a single room for two nights, please? Yes, room 309 on the third floor. How much is it? £14.50, including breakfast. Conversation 2. Can I book a double room for the weekend, please? Yes, we have a room vacant on the first floor, number 135. How much does it cost? £25, including English breakfast. Conversation 3. Have you got a triple room for one week, please? Yes, room 205. It's on the second floor. How much is it? £30 a night, including a private bath. Exercise 2. Listen to the tape and tick the correct answer. 1. When does your mother arrive? Tuesday, 14th of May. 2. When are you going on holidays? The 25th of March. 3. When do the exams begin? The 21st of June. 4. When does school start? 5th of July. 5. When are you going to move into the new house? Next Monday, 8th of February. 6. When does the art museum open? I think it is on the 4th of September. 7. When are you leaving? 30th of April. 8. Here is an interesting date in Britain. Valentine's Day is on 14th of February. 9. Do you know when Halloween is? It's on the 31st of October. 10. When is Boxing Day? The 26th of December. 11. In Britain, autumn begins on the 23rd of September. 12. Hi, Linda. Do you know in Britain when the shortest day of the year is? Yes, it's on the 21st of December. No, nope. it's on the 22nd of December. Exercise 3 You will hear some great names in British history. As you listen, write down the years of their birth and death in the correct column. Henry VIII was born in Greenwich Palace in London in 1491. He married six times and had six wives. He died in 1547. Elizabeth I was the daughter of Henry VIII, and she was born in 1533, the same place as Henry VIII. She was a very popular and strong queen. During her reign, England became very important in European politics, in commerce, and the arts. She died in 1603. She never got married. William Shakespeare was born in Stratford in 1564. By 1603, the year when Queen Elizabeth I died, Shakespeare was already the leading poet and dramatist of his time. He continued to write for the next ten years, but in 1616 he finally stopped writing and went to live in Stratford, where he died in the same year. Queen Victoria was born in London in 1819 and died in 1901.
Sir Winston Churchill was born in Blenheim Palace in 1874 and died in 1965. Exercise 1. Listen to some conversations and fill in the missing information in the form. Conversation 1. Have you got a single room for two nights, please? Yes, room 309 on the third floor. How much is it? £14.50, including breakfast. Conversation 2. Can I book a double room for the weekend, please? Yes, we have a room vacant on the first floor, number 135. How much does it cost? £25, including English breakfast. Conversation 3. Have you got a triple room for one week, please? Yes, room 205. It's on the second floor. How much is it? £30 a night, including a private bath. Exercise 2. Listen to the tape and tick the correct answer. 1. When does your mother arrive? Tuesday, 14th of May. 2. When are you going on holidays? The 25th of March. 3. When do the exams begin? The 21st of June. 4. When does school start? 5th of July. 5. When are you going to move into the new house? Next Monday, 8th of February. 6. When does the art museum open? I think it is on the 4th of September. 7. When are you leaving? The 30th of April. 8. Here is an interesting date in Britain. Valentine's Day is on 14th of February. 9. Do you know when Halloween is? It's on the 31st of October. 10. When is Boxing Day? The 26th of December. 11. In Britain, autumn begins on the 23rd of September. 12. Hi, Linda. Do you know in Britain when the shortest day of the year is? Yes, it's on the 21st of December. No, nope. it's on the 22nd of December. Exercise 3. You will hear some great names in British history. As you listen, write down the years of their birth and death in the correct column. Henry VIII was born in Greenwich Palace in London in 1491. He married six times and had six wives. He died in 1547. Elizabeth I was the daughter of Henry VIII, and she was born in 1533 the same place as Henry VIII. She was a very popular and strong queen. During her reign, England became very important in European politics, in commerce, and the arts. She died in 1603. She never got married. William Shakespeare was born in Stratford in 1564. By 1603, the year when Queen Elizabeth I died, Shakespeare was already the leading poet and dramatist of his time. He continued to write for the next ten years, but in 1616 he finally stopped writing and went to live in Stratford, where he died in the same year. Queen Victoria was born in London in 1819 and died in 1901. Sir Winston Churchill was born in Blenheim Palace in 1874 and died in 1965.